As you know, I'm Kyneton the Genius, and today we are going to be starting with tutorial 4 on our TensorFlow for machine learning and data science experts or beginners. And today we are going to be talking about pre-processed the data set. I uh, have actually decided to use a whiteboard to explain what we are going to do. So we are talking about pre-processing the data set. I told you that the data set is made up of something like this. We have da 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 da. So one image, this is not an array of several images, this is one single image, one image. It's made up of 28, 28 by uh, 28. So we have 28 here and we have 28 here. So this will give us 2, 5, 6. And if we want to index individual uh, individual elements of this single image we have 0, 2, 2, 5, 5. Okay, this is clear. Okay, and that's why when we have the color map here, we have from 0 to 255. Five. So this 250 is not the last one, but almost sec uh, almost the last one. We have 250, 251 up to 255. All right, so what we are trying to do now is this. Uh, 0 to 255, we want it to be between 0 and 1. And simply what we can do to change it to 0 and 1, this is part of pre-processing, standard way to pre-process, is to simply change, in, to divide the, the to divide by 255. So we have 0 divided by 255, we are dividing everything by 255. What are we dividing? the training data set. So we are dividing the training data set uh, and the test data set uh, because we already split them into two. So we are dividing everything by 255. That is one. And secondly, uh, there's a question I got from one of my subscribers. I say, what really is a tensor? What is tensor? Okay, so now, I'm going to make another lesson that says tensors versus array versus data frame. Or even versus table. So this tensors is simply something else completely different from what you know before. It's not an array, it's not a data frame, it's not a table, it's something else. We are going to talk about it maybe in the next class. I'm try I'll try to make another class. I'll explain clearly what a tensor is, okay? So let's go ahead to pre-process this data. So we are going to, let me just take out this one. So we are, you're, you already know we have the train images, train underscore images, and we have test underscore images. Already we know, you know that this is, yeah, this is train images, this is test images, right? Okay, so this is not the label. The labels is, is between 0 and 1. We are not changing the labels. Take notes. Uh, keep that in mind. What are we talking about? Let me just show you. Uh, so we are talking about the labels. The labels uh, is from 0 to 1, from, from 0 to 9. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3. So 0 for trousers, 1 for shade, for so there are nine categories of, of data for these images, okay. All right, so let's just divide by 255. Train images. What I recommend is you subscribe to my, uh, to my channel so that you don't miss any updates when I make new lessons. So just hit the subscribe button below so that you, you get notified when I make a new lesson. And that way you kind of motivate me to keep making these lessons as well and you also if you have challenges, you do let me know. All right, so when we divide by 255, I uh, think this is what we should have. I'm going to run it at this point. So let's run it. Okay, invalid invalid syntax. Okay, so I have space, oh, there's a typo. All right, so we have it divided. This is fine. So the kernel is busy. If you look at this place, it says kernel busy. So anytime you see this in field up, the kernel is busy. All right. So we want to now verify that the images are actually well processed and ready for analysis. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a subplot to display maybe 25 images in this way. So I'm going to say image 1 display in a box like this, image 2, image 3. Remember there are 60,000 images, image 4, uh, uh, all the way to image 10. And I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, this is image 5. So... Da, 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 all the way to 5. I want to display a grid of 25 images in a grid view like this. Okay, so to do that, you need to use something called subplot. So you have these boxes I'm going to be using. I want them to be 5 by 5. That is one. And so it means that this one, I've talked about subplot before, so I'm not going to explain everything about it. So it's a 5 by 5 images for all of them. So this is 5, 5, 1. This is 5, 5, 2, this is 5, 5, 3, and so on. So let's see how that plays out. So let's come here and I'm going to say, first I'm going to create a figure where I'm going to display this uh, grid of 25 images. I'm going to say the figure size to be, to be 10 by 10, so to be 10 by 10. So this is the size of the whole figure. So this sometimes this can be confusing. So this has nothing to do with pixels. It has not, not, nothing much to do with the size of individual images. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to iterate and take the first 25 images. So I'm going to say for for i in uh, what am I writing for i in range 25. Now you need to pay attention here, although I've discussed about plotting, this is actually a, a something that has to do with plotting. So read about or go through the tutorial on creating subplots, or actually the general tutorial on plotting in Python, and this will be very clear to you. So I'm taking the first 25 images, 0 to 25. Uh, actually, take 0 to 24, because that is what gives us 25. And I'm going to create a subplot. I'm going to create a subplot, the plt dot subplot. So you are creating a subplot. I'm going to say five, five, five. How am I doing? Five one, right? So these five five one, five five two, five five three, and so on, all the way up twenty five. But since we are doing a loop. I'm uh, going to simply say i, okay? So there's nothing like 550, but we know that the first i is 0, because i goes from 0. So I'm going to simply add 1 to it, so i plus 1, to make sure that we don't have uh, subplot 0, 550, because it doesn't exist. Subplot starts from 1. While the first two, 5, the first 5 is the width of the subplot, the height of the subplot, and then the subplot index, the particular subplot, as I mentioned, so this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way to 25. All right, so we plotted the first one. I'm going to just put a few parameters here uh, just to clean up things a bit. Let me just paste it instead of having to write it completely. So this, you can leave it as optional, but uh, uh, just also add it. So I've Removing the grid lines and all right, so I've created the subplot. Let's now plot. So I'm going to say plt the I am show. Already you know about this. Train image, train image i. So take the first train image i and train train image i. So actually this is okay to print the the image. When you use IMG show, you simply give it a, an image of 25, an image of x by y, right? So in this case, it's not plt the plot where you specify x and y. Just give it one single image because we are de dealing with TensorFlow at this point. So you need to learn how to think in a different way. So I'm going to use a column map, uh, a column map of a uh, column map of um, 
and just use this in the binary the binary column up okay so just two colors black and white is okay let's let's keep it simple at this point and I'm going to say plt dots so let me put the labels against the, the each of the image so I'm going to say x label x label the x label should be the class name the x label should be the class name so I'm going to say class underscore names and I'm going to say uh, class name train class names train labels so train labels you already know is 0 to 9 class names is the names of these labels class name train labels i okay so take your take some time to get your head around this okay so i'm going to just say plt let's show so i don't know if i have assigned these class names but let's see let me just run it just to see uh, so we have error class names is not defined so it actually plotted the first one so let me see uh uh, let me see class names is not defined. So let me see. I think I should have the class names somewhere. Let me see um, Yes, I should have them here. So let me just define them at this point. Let me just copy them from here and paste So this I'm putting the class names in the, the, this is what I'm just creating this table that assigns a name to each of the labels the numeric labels I'm assigning each of them a name, and that is why I'm creating this this uh, this list here. So I'm going to just go one step upwards, insert a cell just above this one, and assign the class names right here. So I'm going to run it, and at this point I'm going to run the next one. And let's see, yeah, so good. While this warning is coming, I don't know why. Let's see, adding an ESE. Previous matplot live deprecated adding an es and axis using the same argument as previous axis currently reused earlier instance in a future version new instance will always be created and return. Okay, so let's forget about this. So now we this is the first image. So our pre-processing works. You can see all of them are square images of uh, 25 by 25 size not the pixel the pixels remains 28 28 by 28 pixels so this is fine our images have been pre-processed they are in a grid of, uh, of of the same size <clears throat> and we are ready to continue the pre-processing so i'm going to stop here now we've we are now going to be moving into actually building the model because for now we've not actually started building any machine learning model in the next video, which is uh, tutorial 5, we are going to start building the model. I'm going to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe. If you've not subscribed, just hit the subscribe button below this video. And also leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. Like this video as well and share it around uh, so that it can help somebody else. And we'll see in the next lesson.